What's up YouTube? It's the Villa Outdoors here. Today is August 30th of 2019. It's about 8.15 in the morning right now. I'm here at one of my favorite creeks for smallmouth fishing and other game fish. And today I'm going to be doing something pretty cool. Well, let me show you what I'm fishing with today. So this pile of legs and bodies and stuff in my hand right now is actually what's called a lanternfly, a spotted lanternfly. These are invasive species to the state of Pennsylvania and they are just awful for the environment. They kill trees, they destroy crops, they, they just kill everything. So we're doing the environment a favor today and we're gonna be fishing with these things. These ones are already dead, so in case they get off the hook, they're not like spreading over to other trees and killing them too. So these ones are already dead. Um, but yeah, nothing eats these in the Pennsylvania ecosystem or whatever. There are some things that are adapting to eat these and use them for food, but nothing is really trained to eat these things. These are from China, so they're completely new here. They just showed up about a year or two ago, and these things are just awful. So we're going to be fishing with them today, and hopefully we can land some nice fish on them, maybe some big sunfish. I'd be happy if we caught a nice smallmouth on them. If this doesn't work, then we'll switch over to like a, a nice crankbait or something. Let's see if we can slay some fish on that, but I'm hoping we get some on the lanternflies. So the way I'm rigging our lanternfly is I have a small size eight bait holder hook right there, hooked the lanternfly right through the main body. So hopefully it doesn't fall off the hook. And then right above that, about maybe 10 or eight inches up, I have a little small split shot right there snapped it on with some pliers and we're going to try and fish that hole around there and see if there's anything good over there guys we already got a fish on on the liner fly it was as easy as that just pulled it up a little red breast sunfish i cast it right over there by that mud wall and hooked them right on the side of the mouth beautiful red breast sunfish Whew, nice easy start to the day first drop and first fish right there beautiful red breast sunfish all right so we got our second piece of lanyard fly right here not the biggest piece but save the bigger piece for farther upstream and then we're just going to take this hook it through the main body just like that and throw it on there and there's our bait and we're just gonna toss it out there. Might twitch it a little bit, but not too much because I don't want the bait to fall off the hook. We're gonna try over there this time. All right guys, we're gonna make a move upstream now. I don't wanna waste too much time catching sunfish on the lighter flies. I wanna get farther upstream to where the good spots are that usually hold a couple nice fish. So I'm gonna work my way up that way maybe fish a little bit on the way if I find something that looks good. But we're gonna be walking upstream, find some better fish, try and catch a small mouth or a large mouth on one of these uh, lantern flies. All right guys, we made it to the next spot. Nice little eddy right here, breaks away from the current. So anything that flows by in this current, any food, there should be some sort of predatory fish waiting right there in this little eddy for it to pass by. So we're gonna give this a shot, see if there's anything good in there. Guys, we got another fish on right here, coming up. A little largemouth bit on the liner fly. Look at that, beautiful little guy. And he's fat too, look how fat that guy is. I don't know if he's pregnant or, or she's pregnant or what. That is a fat belly for a largemouth of this size. Look at that, I got the lamp fly right in his mouth right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Hooked him right on the bottom of the mouth. Still got some of our lamp fly left, but there's our little large mouth right there. Nice little catch. Let's see if we can get his cousin the small mouth later today as he just flopped out of our hands. All right guys, I made it to the lair of the small mouth. I got my biggest lantern fly rigged up right now. I'm just gonna try and sneak up on a decent sized smallmouth here. 
see if there's one crawling around in these rocks. I'm gonna try casting right over there. See if there's one right there. I'm telling you, these fish are not used to eating these lanternflies because they just showed up about a year or two ago. And they're always feeding on crayfish and shiners and whatnot. And these lanternflies come in, they barely touch the water. So these fish don't get to see a whole lot of these things. So they're not used to feeding on them. I wish I could use a live one of these things, but they're very hard to catch unless you have like a butterfly net or something, and I don't have one of those, so we are using them dead. So we gotta put our own action on it. Just jigging it slightly up and down, looking for some kind of reaction strike, but they're not being too helpful. Fortunately, we have run out of lantern flies. So that concludes our lantern fly fishing challenge for the day. We caught two fish on it, a red breast sunfish and a largemouth bass. But overall review of lantern flies as a bait, eh, they're not too good. Well, the fish don't really recognize them as natural food yet. So they're not used to feeding on it. They just like see it go by and like, what the heck is that, a leaf? And they just don't want to eat it. So I wouldn't recommend using the bait. I mean, it falls off the hook pretty easily. Uh, and yeah, it just does not have, I mean, if you could find live ones and use that as bait, it might work well. But um, I do not recommend using dead ones as bait at all. So right now I'm doing some fishing with the rebel track down minnow since I can't end the video on just two fish we're gonna see if we can get some small mouth out of here there's got to be a good one sitting here somewhere even though I haven't seen many today there's got to be something decent around here I don't know what happened to these fish maybe it's just a matter of finding them but usually this stretch right here is loaded with fish, but when I was like casting into there, it was just like nothing. There was nothing there. So I don't know what the deal is or where the fish went, but we're gonna have to find them because two fish is not gonna cut it. I'm sorry, like I need to do better than that. I know I can do better than that, especially from this spot. This spot, it's not highly pressured usually get good action from the fish so like i don't know definitely odd for this spot definitely need to do better the spot that produced the most amount of fish in the shortest amount of time so let's see if we can get one out of here should be interesting Fish on, fish on. That's a fish. That's a small mouth. Oh, I foul hooked him. That's a cool little fish though. Let's get him unhooked. I think he swirled on it. And that's why I hooked him. Right in the eye. All right, he's fine, he's good to go. There's our Smallmouth bass right there. Beautiful fish. Let's get the camera straightened out. Beautiful little smallmouth bass. Caught right out of this hole. Right by this lay down. Gotta take a picture and release this guy. Beautiful fish. Alright, so that fish fell prey to the little rebel track down minnow. That's good that we found that fish here because we didn't find any fish downstream. We saw one smallmouth downstream, but that was it. Let's see if we can get another one out of here. There's one. This one's not as big, but it's a smallmouth. Easy does it. Easy. Easy. Hey, I don't want to be hooked by these troubles, so just.
calm down and even better, he unhooked himself. I don't have to get hooked by the trebles now. Now that would have been a lot easier for that fish if he would have just cooperated. But you know, fish don't like to listen to me, so. What else is new? Guys, we got another fish on. Another beautiful smallmouth. I'm telling you, it was just a matter of finding the fish. We just caught three out of this spot right here. Chill out. I know you're not happy about the hooks in your mouth, but you're not gonna come out if you don't cooperate. Oh, this guy got it good. Look at that. Gonna have to use the pliers on this guy. Guys, that fish was released safely and is now back in his little hole. I don't know how many more we're gonna be able to get out of this hole. We already caught three. So, should be getting pretty slim pickings right now. But we'll see. We'll see what we're gifted. Might get lucky here and get one or two more. Or not. The last couple cats had Zippo bites. So, I think after I hooked that fish, he was like going to tell his friends like, hey, you see that little silver thing in the water? about like three inches long yeah don't touch that it's not good and now they're not biting just like that you know we got a fish on another nice creek smallmouth came on the track down minnow as well hooked right on the bottom lip there gonna try and remove he's only got one of the trebles in him or one hook. And he released himself, but he's having a bit of trouble, so I'm gonna try and help him out here. There he goes. He's back in the water. Whew. Not the smoothest release for sure, but uh, that's another fish. So we caught, what, three over there? And then I had four. That's a fourth one here. So four smallmouth in just like, I don't know, 50 feet away from each other. So pretty good. Guys, another smallie on. Another decent sized one. I'm telling you, we just had to find them. That's all we had to do. The lanternfly couldn't find them. Now we got them here. Oh, this one got hooked. Pretty good. I'm gonna use the pliers for this guy. I don't want to screw him up. All right, guys. There's our little creek smallmouth, beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and release this guy. Well, guys, I didn't want to have to do this, but I just got my lure stuck in a tree, and you know, as they say, no lure left behind. So we're gonna have to go in after this thing. Although this spot in front of me looks pretty good to fish. I got it stuck in a tree, so might have to do a bit of a excavating or tree removal, whatever you want to call it. Water is about a little past my knees right now. And I'm trying to work my way up onto these rocks that they placed on the side of the road here and the water has now reached my upper thighs all right we are on the other side I reel in some of my slack line my lure is right there on that branch if I can guess get over just a little bit more without falling falling in I can probably get it all right Made it to the other side. My line's tangled around this tree, so we gotta unwrap this, bring it under this, and then should be able to get my lure out from here. All right, it's 
pretty treacherous. Whoop. Almost fell in. Didn't fall in yet. But I only have one of these. I don't want to lose it. All right. We got it. Our lower's back. Whew. For a second there, I didn't think we were going to get it. Thought I was going to fall in first. All right. Well, now that we're over here, I'm just going to walk along the side and uh, try and get to the other side of this creek. Moved a tad bit upstream, and we got ourselves a little largemouth bass. Not a bad size. Gonna carefully unhook them so I don't hook myself or fall in the water. All right, where is he hooked? He's hooked right there. All right, stop squirming. I got a hand in your mouth, so show the camera. All right, there's a little large mouth right there. Beautiful little fish. Let's let her go. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's fishing session. I'm at my exit point now. And today was a tough day of fishing, for sure. I mean, I started off doing the lanternfly fishing challenge, which I thought was going to produce a lot of fish at first. But the more I threw around the lanternflies, there was like zero interest from fish. So, I walked pretty far. I walked about like a mile today. So instead of taking the creek back and fishing, I'm just gonna walk alongside the road for the most part to, to make things go quicker. Since I have to work a eight hour shift later and I wanna have time to relax before I have to do that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next time on the Ville Outdoors.